A hearty welcome at Van Drie Group. Van Drie Group is an integrated field production chain. In this episode, we will learn you more about field. As you know, we value 99% of our carcass. So we've got everything. We've got the ossebuco, the blade, and all kinds of interesting parts of the veal. I'm here with Ragnar Fredriksson and Edgar Beurs. Ragnar, you all know, he is one of the directors of the World Chefs. Edgar is one of our chefs. Edgar will join Ragnar in the kitchen preparing some veal dishes. My name is Patricia, Patricia van Grieken. I'm the marketing manager of Van Drie Group and I travel the world around with Edgar. Come and join us and we will learn you more about the veal. Welcome, Ragnar. Yes, thank welcome you. Welcome in our studio here at Van Drie. And to welcome, be here. Edgar. Thank you, nice Patricia. Nice to have you. Yes, thank you. Um, I think it's interesting to have a look at all kinds of different uh, pieces of veal. Mm. Yeah. As, as we say, veal cuts, uh, the technical parts. Um, it's very important uh, that you know your cut so you can know what uh, yeah. you can do with it. Um, I was thinking we are going to show it from nose till tail. But we do not have enough room <laughs> no, no, to we put don't. everything no, no, here. No, no, so no, we, made, we made a selection yeah, and yeah. I would like to show you, I'll bring it to you. Okay. We've got here the chuck. Yeah. chuck. Chuck straight cut. That's the technical name. And it's made out of the neck and it's really nice straight yeah. cut. Yeah. So. Beautiful, big piece, huh? So what do we do with this? Uh, well, uh, this, uh, this has got uh, different, uh, <coughs> different uh, things that, that we can do with it. Um, this is absolutely fantastic stew meat. Yeah. Yeah. So you can make a nice ragu from mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. You can make a nice pot au feu with it. Yeah. Uh, you can also uh, make a nice uh, roast from this. Yeah. Uh, you could actually take the center out, take the center out, mm -hmm. Uh, use uh, use the other bits for for a, a mince uh, mince meat sure. mince meat. Uh, you can take the center out and bind it up with some with some string. Put some nice fresh herbs on it, and you can roast it in the oven. Right, Still that would roast. be a fantastic uh, thing as well. Good idea. But actually, you can also uh, cut it into into steaks. Yeah. Into steaks, and you can put it on the grill. But because oh, we did right. that, we did yes. that uh, with some with some with some clients from us uh, in Germany. They actually use this and they marinate it in uh, a, a truffle marinade, mm. and they made uh, a barbecue marinade with uh, really really fantastic flavors. Right. But the marinade and, uh, is then essential. Yeah, the marinade right, is the, essential because you've got yeah, the sour. Yeah, yeah. The oil yeah, yeah, and, the, exactly. and the taste, but yeah. the sour yeah. is yeah, essential yeah, 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 because yeah. it's. Because it can, is. Can, can yeah. we say it's a um, working piece? A yeah, piece it's a working piece <laughs> to sort of to sort of tenderize yeah. tenderize the meat. Exactly. If you are going to short, uh, yeah. if you if you're going to use a short preparation. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it has nice uh, layers of, of fat in between. So. so it has. It yeah. has lovely. You know. So I'm it gives a, it a good texture. What I will do texture. is I will cut it open, and then you can see all the different layers yeah. in okay. there. Yeah. You know. You take it off. Yeah. And I'll take I get it off. Plate. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Wonderful. Wow. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Yeah. That would make a meal for a few people, huh? Yeah. Just for my curiosity, Edgar, yes, you Patricia. just explained that you could take this part for the mincemeat. Yes. Um, is the balance between the meat and the fat, is the it meat, okay yeah. for this is This meat? is absolutely ideal for mincemeat because mm. the, the balance from, the, uh, from, the, from this cut is actually the, the meat and the fat is fantastic. So you could make fantastic okay. hamburgers from right, this as well. Right. You know? oh, wow. Or burgers, <laughs> field burgers. Yeah. You could make fantastic yes. field burgers. So you get that uh, juicy and the flavor from the, yeah. from the fat. Absolutely. Right. And just one dish that pops up in my mind, stroganoff. Yeah. Stroganoff. Is that possible? Um, or? No, that, no, that I wouldn't do so quickly from the neck. Because that is uh, that is more uh, something that you would take from the uh, from the rump, from the rump probably. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Shall I make a second guess? Yeah, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> croquettes, croquettes. Yeah, croquettes, croquettes. Ah. You know, the Dutch, the Dutch uh, feel croquettes. Yeah. 
There Look you at that. Here you yeah. see. Wow. Yeah, yeah. This, yes. is, this is beautiful. Yeah. Now, here I've, uh, I've left this bit in. So this one is what they, what they usually would do, is they would take this off here. And here you have your meat for your, um, for your, for your burgers. Yeah. That looks wow. absolutely yes. very nice. And then what the Italians do is they cut this off as well. And if I'm going to put that over here, yeah. Yep. <laughs> and then here we're going to cut it into steaks. So this is what they do for the for our client in Germany. Right. They actually so grill steaks. They yeah. grill this and they well, marinate they it. marinate it first, and then they and then they grill it. You yeah, because you need the sour mm. to get it tender. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So 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 this is for the for the uh, yeah. This is, and okay. then of course if you would if you would actually bind it up together yeah, there you go. and you would yeah. put some nice fresh rosemary some thyme on it yeah. maybe even some uh, some anchovies if you want to have a, a little yeah. bit of salt on it nice, oh. nice and idea. then you bind that together and then you have a nice roulade you know yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be Slow fantastic roast as well or nice fill it roast. with your minced meat yeah yeah <laughs> oh that yeah or stuff it under yeah yeah, yeah. Just, just one piece. So, so many ideas. Yeah. So many ideas. Uh, so many ideas. So many That's ideas. Really great. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's, right. Yeah. Let's go. No, it's, it's really important that uh, yeah that the uh, that we, we are use, using all the parts of the uh, of yes. the animal and that not is very we're yes. just falling back on the yeah. uh, the uh, you know the usual ones the loins. The, uh, the the sirloins, but you know, there's so many yes. so many bits and pieces to discover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You're, you're right. If if I may generalize, um, if you ask a chef what would you like to have for uh, mm. a dish, yeah. and yeah. they ask for the fillet or the yeah. rib eye, yeah. uh, yeah. yeah. they they trust it. Uh, exactly. Yeah, and the customers try. trust it. They know it. So yes. yeah, exactly. so you have to also uh, educate your customers. You know, and yes. you know, absolutely help them discover new cuts. And yeah. Yeah, sometimes yeah. that is yeah. also yeah part of the service and the uh, and the chef to uh, put it on the menu and propose it. So. Yes. yes, yeah, yes, yeah. 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 maybe find yeah. a fancy name for a dish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Great. Okay, we will right. put the neck away. Yeah, and neck um, away. The neck away. Yeah, we go. <laughs> the neck away. <laughs> what have we got? And yeah. Well, look at this. I've got hair. Ah, looks good. The shoulder cloth yeah. and the hanging tender. Before we start with the hanging tender, we um, explain, or you explain yeah. something about yeah, what shoulder cloth. What to do with the shoulder weekend. And yeah. it looks like my telephone is ringing, but that's not true. It's <laughs> oh, the it's your pan, pan is singing. Yeah, he's oh, singing. The pan is singing. He's waiting for the hanging tender. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so okay. That, that's the noise that you don't think my telephone is <laughs> ringing. Yeah, okay. So the shoulder cloth, Edgar, the shoulder us, cloth. what can we do with The shoulder this? cloth. Um, this is absolutely a beautiful piece because this, um, you can make really nice pastrami out of this, for instance. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. The Reuben sandwich. The Reuben sandwich. Ah, <laughs> you know, right. Patricia and I, we, so were, we were on one of our travels and yeah. we went to a cat's uh, restaurant uh, yeah. in New York yeah. to have the pastrami the sandwich. And then Patricia said to me, Edgar, when we come back, I really want to taste this, but then I want to have, uh, I want to, to have it from veal. Yeah. So, yeah. Please, you know, find a cut that we can use for this. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, of course, I come from a butcher's family. Yeah. I went to my brother and, uh, and I said, Michel, uh, I have something uh, that we need to work on together. We need to uh, find a good pastrami from veal. Yeah. So he said, we should have the shoulder clot. He yeah. said, because that is a beautiful piece. It's, it is very lean. And we can we can easily make that into a beautiful pastrami, which nice. we did, and yes. it, it works perfectly. <laughs> yeah, 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 nice. well, a little really bit of sauerkraut nice. on the mm. on the rye bread, yeah. the mustard yes. sauce mm. with it. Oh, beautiful! beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then a big one. Eh? A big one. A big <laughs> one. A high one. <laughs> yes, absolutely. New York style. Yeah. New York style. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's really yeah. nice. Yeah. Do, do you have to do anything about this or? Well, I could actually. Do you have to cut something? Yes, yes, or? yes. I can. I can actually show you. Yes. Right, here we go. Um, 
I'm going to take some of the, of the fat off here. And then there is a, a sinew in the middle, that which we always want to take out. I'm just going to put the debris over there. Here we go. And there you have to you take see. it out before you prepare it? It uh, soften? Yes, because, uh, well, you could also use this into, you can cut it into, into small steaks, but then you have to take the, uh, the sinew out. Okay. And the sinew, that's just right over here. Yeah. yeah. And that, that needs to, you see, that one needs out, to yeah. come out. Well, you see, all this education that Edgar uh, received from uh, when he was 11, it, uh, yeah. you know, it, it's, it's all there. Yeah. It, it justifies the, uh, the, the years of, of, of learning and training. Yeah. And this is what we, uh, sort of, we are worried about in education, is that uh, you know, the, um, the, they are shortening the number of courses. Uh, yeah. Restaurants are buying uh, a lot of their things pre-made, so in, internships. The, uh, the young chefs, they don't, they don't get to handle these uh, products. Yeah. So uh, this is something that we need, need to, need to uh, communicate, is yes. to get the, the whole cuts into the kitchens. At the end, it will be cheaper than to buy it all processed, but, yeah. uh, but also yeah. you are yeah, then teaching your, your, uh, your chefs uh, the basic skills. And, and this, of course, can create that new, is new uh, ideas and, and different ways of working with uh, the piece of meat, like you just said earlier, uh, with the pastrami. Yeah. And, um, yeah. yeah, there are these uh, craftsmanships that mustn't be lost. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. You have to feel the feel. Yeah. yeah. Hi there. So this is this it's is great. this is beautiful. Beautiful, it's absolutely it's beautiful. beautiful. So we uh, so uh, when we made the pastrami, we made a nice uh, a nice uh, a curing brine yeah. from uh, mm. you know uh, the salt, yeah. and we put yeah. some some nice uh, spices in it, some mm. coriander, some peppers. I can imagine, yeah. Some mm. uh, yeah. So mouth watering, yeah. 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 Great. Uh, Great. And this looks really interesting, though. Yeah. What, what this? Yeah. <laughs> This would be fun um, to work with. Huh? Well, this is probably uh, one of the pieces that that you might recognize from the mm. from uh, from the brasseries uh, in yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, from the brasseries uh, in Paris. Correct. Because the, uh, uh, this is the onglet. The onglet. The onglet. Exactly. The, the onglet de veau. Onglet with a shallot sauce and uh, yeah, really, yeah. really tender and uh, nice, the hanging yeah. tender in in English. It's called mm. the hanging tender, and uh, this is of course the actual sinew. Which is hanging between the lungs, All right? So this is this. this That's why it's so tender. yeah, yeah. So you have here the lungs, and yeah. uh, and this sinew is sitting in the middle. So yeah. when they, when the when the calf breathes, it, it goes in and out, and this yeah. sinew is moving up and down. Right. right so right. this has a very uh, this has very uh, long uh, veins. Uh, That's correct. Uh, the thread yeah. is going over here. Yeah. Now that's the one thing about the hanging tender is you can you can cook it like this, and you can use it for for stew or for yeah. pot au feu. Yeah. You can cut it into dices, yeah. and then you can leave the sinew in it. Yeah. If you cook it long enough, if you don't cook it long enough, if you want to use it for short preparation, then you have to take out this little sinew in here. Yeah, because this is actually, uh, if you're going to cook it as a steak, that's, that's the chewy gonna, part. That's yeah. the chewy part. That's the chewy part. So we're taking yeah. this out, and but it's a wonderful cut, and, and uh, as you say, it has a. Uh, you know, you, you can see the fibers, so it has a very specific texture, and uh, yes. as you yes. said, in brasseries in Paris, all do it, and yeah, and yes. and. Uh, and uh, it, it should be uh, more known as, as, as a piece, you know, the things yes. you can do with it. Yeah. It's, it's quite interesting. Yeah, it's very piece. interesting, especially yes. that texture of the... Uh, yes, mm. I'm, um, to be honest, it's one of my favorite pieces yeah. because yeah. it's got really nice yeah. uh, uh, taste. It has a very nice taste yes. it, uh, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. it has some bite to it. Eh? Exactly. It's, yes. not, yeah. it's not like your, like your complete fillet, you know, which is... Yeah. Which is you really have yeah. to... You this to, is, yeah, this, this to. is meat that has been working you know it has had a function yeah. so uh, that's the one thing i always said to i always try to explain to the waiters in the kitchen as well i said you know if you are going to sell the omelet um, and we are using it as a steak then you know 
say to the people that it's a different kind of steak. It's yeah, not yeah. like your lo uh, like your yeah, tenderloin. You're loin, you not going to eat it, it with a spoon. You're going no, to no, have to you cut have through to, it and, you have to and work. bite on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But it has all that flavor and the, uh, the texture yeah, that exactly. you so, so, um, I, I can imagine it's also confusing a bit. Yes. Because it looks like it has to be uh, slow cooked. Yeah. But you yeah, can yeah. fry it like a steak. So yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. Yes. That, that's right, that's right. Yes. So we turn up we can turn it up a bit. Yeah. Like this. Like this. There you go. Five. Yeah, that would there be good. Go. That would be good. Are you going okay. to fry it right now? Yes, with pleasure. Yeah, sure. No? Okay. Good idea. Yeah, let's <laughs> just get the butter going here. Yeah. yeah. Should we add some oil? Yeah, yeah, we can add a little bit of oil to it. There we go. Yeah, wonderful. Can you put it and on the grill as well? Yes, you can uh, very, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, very well, very good on the on the on the grill, on the uh, on the barbecue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That would be very very good. Okay. Actually, uh, my father he used to. Uh, my father had a butchery as well, of yeah. course, because yeah. I come from the family of the butchers. And my father used this meat to prepare the, the Dutch speciality croquettes. Right. Croquettes. Yes, 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 yes. So uh, he was famous for his, uh, for his field croquettes yeah. in Amsterdam. Yeah. And he made uh, the field croquettes from the, from the hanging tender. So he made the stock from the hanging tender. And then, uh, and then, and then he used to... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll turn it up a bit. One, one more? Yeah. yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, probably two seven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I'm learning uh, the, the love yes. of the machine. You know, this, oh, there. you're putting the fan uh, up. It's loving me now. Now yeah, we're going. Now see, we're going. Put the fan a bit down uh, for good. the noise. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the croquet part. You know, you, you cut them, in, you dice yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Uh, he actually cut it. Uh, he actually uh, cooked it like this in a stock, and he put some onions with it, carrots, celery, mm. and some uh, coriander uh, mm. uh, corns. You can go. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You can go in. That's right. No salt, no pepper, as no, Chef no, Edgar no. says. Yeah. This one as well? Yeah, that one too. Why not? Mmm, smells lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and then uh, he would make, uh, from the stock, he would make a uh, salt pecan, of course. Yeah. You know, the, yeah. the roux and, the, and the, uh, the roux from the butter yeah. and the flour. Yeah. And the then fresh the use flour, you, you explained flour. to me uh, yeah. a few weeks ago that you need to use fresh flour. You need to have fresh flour, uh, yeah. And yeah. if you use old flour, then? Then the, then the sauce doesn't, uh, doesn't bind and, it, and mm. it starts tasting sweet as well. Yeah. 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 So that's important. Yeah, yeah the flour. I can imagine it's one of those things you put into your kitchen you put it and your use kitchen. it till yeah. it's yeah, yeah, yeah. finished. It like it's yeah, space in right. the cupboard yeah. for, a, yeah. for ages. <laughs> <and that's laughs> but you need to use fresh yeah. flour. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. What are you doing there? A little bit more? Yeah, a bit more. Yeah. Besides, yeah. the craftsmanship are all. Tip and tricks in your kitchen, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. like, uh, you know, sometimes we say it's like uh, old people are always right. Sometimes it's mother tricks that uh, have gone from generation to generation. Yeah. Or they do, they yeah. do it like this, but nobody asked why. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah. then came molecular, molecular cuisine, yeah. Yeah. which hasn't yeah. really changed anything. No. It's no. just a scientist answering why. Why yes. do we do things as we do them? And so he could then explain it scientifically, but the principles are the same. They, they are sometimes they are. centuries old. So yeah, they are. Yeah. Getting better? Yeah, now? that's good. Nice. Wow. Yeah. A little bit more, maybe? I will turn it there. Yeah. That's good. Nice. Yeah. Well, yeah, so the Parisian it? brasserie. For me, this is you know the, the typical Parisian. You do a, this. Uh, you do a, a veal stock, and you uh, you melt uh, with uh, you melt your shallots. Yeah. With yeah. butter. Yeah. So you melt yeah. it for a long time the shallots yeah. in yeah. the butter. Yeah. 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 Then you add a bit of uh, of veal stock. Yeah. And you just let it melt and melt and melt until it really becomes sort of a, it has this soft and, and, yeah. and nice texture and a strong wow. flavor. Pour it over the... Uh, Pour it over the... Uh, yeah. over, the wow. uh, yeah. over the omelette. Yeah. Over the omelette. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that is, you know, French fries and you're in Paris. Bottle of Cote Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Terrace, you know, we can yeah, do that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. What other uh, garnish can you serve with it, Edgar? Uh, you could, uh, you, yeah, you could, you could. Uh, it would be lovely with a with a, a nice mashed potato as well. Oh, you know, yeah. that would be very nice. Uh, you could also mm. serve it with uh, roasted uh, vegetables. That would be, or or with grilled vegetables. 
Nice. Yeah. And here in the pan, you can now see uh, the thread That's going. That's it. Eh? That, yeah. is, yeah. that is so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 But nevertheless, it's tender. It's yeah. tender. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Looks beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Got a bit coloring there. Yeah. Yeah. Get nice there. I think it's done. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. We can rest it a little bit and then yeah, we can rest it a bit and then here we go. Nice. Hmm. There we are. Put it there. Yeah, sure. This one is done before. Yeah. Yeah. That one maybe a little more instance. Yeah. A few more instance for the other yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Slowly, gently. Yeah, slowly, gently. <laughs> Take your time. Yeah, yeah. Take yeah. your time. So that's a yeah. beautiful piece of meat. And it's really different in, in the texture and the flavor from the other parts of the veal. Oh, so yes. yes. So oh, yes. It's, it's oh, really yes. fun to work with. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah, I think that's good. This is good. Yeah, yeah, I think it's good. It's just, you know, to show also, you know. Uh, Shall we? Yeah. Put the pan again. That's good. Okay. This is just also to uh, to show you know um, if we are going to cut it now. I will I will move this board quickly. Yeah, because that's an interesting question. Yeah, that's, How that's, do you cut it? Because yeah. you have to cut straight on the veins. Yeah, to yeah, me, please. yeah. I will throw it yeah. away. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> First, we're going to season it. I'm going to put some pepper on and a little bit of salt. After frying. After frying, right. always. You know, yes. turn it around. And we do the other side as well. There we go. Okay, well then now, if we are gonna, gonna put it on the board, we can see the vein going like that. Mm. So how we have to cut it, is we have to cut it like this, so that we are going yeah. onto right. it. Yeah? Otherwise you can't chew it. No, that's right. It becomes very, very chewy then. Yes. It? Now, this, wow. this looks really lovely. Great. Mm. This looks uh, really lovely. Looks really juicy and nice. Yeah, yeah. That's really nice. Yeah, looks beautiful. Mm. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's well hanging done, tender. Right hanging well tender. Done. Uh, hanging tender. <laughs> just, well done. I just have to taste it. Yeah. Let me show you these two parts. Wow, well, they just keep coming. Yeah. Huh? Oh yes. All these yes. crazy yes. parts. Oh yes, so. we've got a lot of technical cuts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've got here beautiful. the blade. Yeah. And we've got here the rum. The rump. Rump. Yeah. yeah. And the, the blade is, is a typical one that you can use for two kinds of cooking Two kinds techniques. of preparations. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Two kinds of techniques. Yeah. yeah, yeah. By the way, wait. I'll get my phone. Look at this. There you go. We developed the, blade. the Feel Cuts app. Wow. wow. 3D. It, it's yeah? called it feelcuts.com. It's a free Fieldcuts.com, so you can get it for free. That's really helpful. For free. You know? yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So the chefs can go there and look at the different uh, cuts and where they come from and what they do, what they can do with them. Right, and Excellent. look at this. And you can, you can turn it around. Yeah, yeah, so you can visualize you can it. Completely see the whole yes. piece of meat. Yeah. yeah. And what's really important, you can see where it's situated in the carcass. In the carcass. And that's mm. important yeah. for yeah. your preparation. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. So because get it. Because you said the, uh, the four, the four parts are more for for slow cooking okay yeah and the, and the parts from the hind are more for for uh, frying for frying uh, uh, fast yeah right fast if you know yeah. where it where yeah. it is yeah, you yeah. know yeah. what to do then you know what to do with it yeah that's yes. pretty good so where did you find that on on uh, what the website feelcuts.com so we'll have to uh, or communicate that to our members yes, yes. that yes. would be great because yeah. i i do hope it's helpful for that it looks really it will be really helpful it will yeah. be helpful yeah. and it goes from the carcass yeah. till the 
tail. It goes back to what we yeah. were saying, you know, uh, the young chefs today, they need to know where different parts come from and how they can use yes. different parts. And, uh, yes. They don't always get that opportunity in the schools or in the restaurants today. So that's really uh, a good support for, uh, for the industry, for the chefs. Uh, yeah. That's why we made it free yeah. for mm. um, EOS and Android. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, very good. Great. Let me yeah. show you uh, the uh, So what the can blade. we do with the blade? The blade. I love the name. Okay, blade. the blade. Yeah. Okay. Here blade. we have here we have the actual uh, the sinew, which is which is resting on the blade. Yeah. Uh, on the on the shoulder blade. That's right. So here is the bone, and this and this sinew is sitting on it. Right. The, the, the first thing that we always want to do with whatever preparation we do with the blade, we always want to take this one off. Yeah. Because this is even if you if you are going to cook it for a long time, this is always going to be something that is annoying. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the, the thing that gets stuck in your teeth. Yeah, yeah exactly. And you chew on for, for hours. So. so we always want to take this one off. And then uh, we call this, this bit, in the Netherlands, we call it sukade. And sukade is the actual, uh, is the actual garnish that we, that we put in our raisin bread. And uh, the sukade is the actual confit yeah. uh, of, the, uh, of, of the rind of the of the oranges of the orange ah, peel. I see. I see. Um, the reason why we call it sukade is I'm going to show you is because of if we are going to cut it here and we can see and you can see my knife is, has to work now <laughs> because I'm going to show you here there is a big there is a, a fat sinew here I see and that looks actually like the bit in the if you if you have some imagination, ah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, then yeah. once yeah. It, once it is cooked, it looks completely as if you can see through it, and it's and, and it's completely right. soft. Yeah. And then it looks like the stuff, uh, the actual uh, 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 mm. stuff that we put in the raisin bread. Well, that's a nice story. But yeah. um, if you if you are starting on this end, now here we are, we still have the the top yeah. which we can leave on. Yeah. If I'm I, if I'm taking off this end bit here, which is, and if I'm cutting it into a steak here, then you can still see the sinew, but the sinew goes, goes actually much finer over here, you yeah, see? Yeah. Um, so if we were to cook this meat, then we would just pan fry it quickly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we would put, uh, and then we, we, would, we would deglaze the pan, we will put some stock on it, some wi white wine on it, some, some fresh herbs, and we leave yeah. it to stew for about two and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. And then the meat would just fall apart. Right, right. Lovely. And that is, that is really, you know, nice. delicious, That's very, very delicious. Sounds beautiful. But you can also use this, because here is the fat bit here that we see. So what I'm going to do with this, is I'm going to actu actually take this, take this out, and uh, then we can cut it into fine steaks. So if you take the sinew out from the middle, which is always a bit tricky, of course, yeah, yeah. because this Feels needs a little there. bit of working. And then um, this can be cut into, into steaks, you see. Really? I'm just, yeah. Wow. I'm just gonna sharpen the knife very quickly. Yeah. This is really interesting because what we were saying earlier, you know, uh, I mean, restaurants are, are always chasing after, uh, after uh, good margins. And, you know, if everybody wants the same cut, those cuts will be expensive. Yes. Not necessarily that they are better. It's just the way no. how you work and treat the meat. So, uh, so for, for learning these techniques, uh, you can actually improve your, uh, the, the rentability, the, uh, the financial aspect of your restaurant. Yes. So invest in your staff, invest in training. Yes. And then, then allow them to work with a whole animal, the nose to tail. And, uh, and then you can make some delicious things out of lower priced uh, cuts yes. that the, your customers are going to enjoy just as much. And this is also uh, how you create your own competitive advantage. So, uh, so it's a very uh, smart thinking. Not, yes. think, not think short term, think long term and invest right. in, in the skills of your people. This is typical uh, technical part that uh, people would buy in autumn or winter yeah. for the stew, uh, like yeah. Edgar yeah. explained. But if you buy it in the summer and you make a steak like this mm -hmm. and you put it on your grill or you pan fry it, uh, you've got a really lovely dish for your customers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's all about education, educating our yes. chefs, educating our customers. Yes. And, and, uh, and know, yeah. know mm. what kind of technical parts there yeah, are yeah, yeah. and what you can do with it. Exactly. And this is a part of what we're telling our people when we talk about sustainability. And we have our sustainability education. Yes. Uh, there, there, there are many options and choices that you have. So we go through eight chapters. You know, we go to the animal uh, farming and the, uh, and the, the vegetable farming and the, the, the fisheries and, and, um, and then how you plan your menu again. Yeah. And this is where when you're using from nose to tail, you're, uh, this is one of the ways you can be more sustainable in your kitchen. Yes. Uh, you're using uh, lower demand cuts, lower uh, if you buy catch from the from the oceans. Uh, yeah. it's, it's all about the, the you know same principles. And same with the vegetables, yeah. using the whole part of the vegetable instead of throwing away the peels or yeah, et right. Buy, buy so, a carrot yeah. and use a piece like that to throw uh, it cor away. Correct, that's, correct. That's so it's, no it's teaching us to, to think differently and 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 yes. think long term and and yes. you know and. and Go really go to the uh, the deep into the product and see how we can utilize maximum all yeah. parts yeah. of yeah. the product we're using. So nose yes. to tail is was talking right. about here. Yeah. I see it as yeah. a challenge, eh? Yes, yes. To, I mean, to have a look for all the possibilities you've got with all your nice ingredients. Correct. We, yes. we know this, know this for, for years. It's been a very popular discussion, but it's very hard to get it implemented because yes. people might think short term. You know, buy it already cut and packed. Get yeah. Uh, yeah. don't yeah. train your staff. No. Don't spend no. money on training yeah. your staff. Yeah. 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 But yeah. in the long term. Invest in the people, invest in skills, yes. and this is what will make I your restaurant agree. grow absolutely and agree. more yeah. sustainable. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 How do yeah. we call uh, this steak, Edgar? Well, uh, some people call it a uh, house steak, or they can call it a flat iron steak, and that's mm. yes. a little bit because because it is because it is actually going into uh, into a thick piece here and a thinner piece here, which is which is which is the the flat iron, the flat iron building, yes. Yes. yeah, the flat iron exactly. building in New York. And uh, so you could actually cook this, you know, you could, you could fry it like a steak. Yeah. And that is Great. absolutely delicious. Yeah. Really Great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for Percent. explaining yeah, this. Exactly. Yeah. I've got another tray for you. Oh, well, keep them coming, huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I take okay. it for yeah. you? Okay. Thank here we you. go. Okay. We've yeah. got here two nice yeah. pieces of veal. Yeah. To fill it. Yeah. So now we're now we're uh, moving over to the Rolls Royces we were talking about that everybody <laughs> yeah, wants yeah, and everybody yeah, loves. Yeah. Well, you know? we, are, we are now we are now talking about the pieces that everybody says to us. Uh, you know, uh, what everybody says. Mm. You know, Eka, Patricia, Ragnar. We all know this. You know, we're going to switch off now because mm. you know we've seen this. We've done this. Yes. Yeah? <laughs> but but, but. There, there's a there's a twist. Yes. There is always a twist. There is always a twist. Shall we start with the loin? Yes. Let's do that. Okay. I'm just going to move it over here. And then, actually, I'm going to move it back again because <laughs> these two pieces, mm. uh, we could say, but because uh, on one of our other presentations, we did the T-bone. Yep, yeah. correct. And the T-bone, that is because these two pieces of meat, they actually sit together like that, yeah, you know. Around the bone. And actually like that, and they sit with each other here, That's like right. that. With the with the bone in the middle, and, uh, with, the the with the T bone in the middle, in the middle yeah. you see. So this is the piece, the piece which is hanging underneath, underneath the loin. Mm. It's it's hanging there, underneath there, and it's sitting there doing nothing because the bone yeah. is in between. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. All right. Okay. So that's the most tender part. The most tender part. Right. Here we have the loin. Um, this is the the thicker end. This is where uh, our rib eye is actually yep. on this mm -hmm. this end here, and this is the thinner end. And here we have the triangle piece. In Dutch, we call it the koetsierstuk. Right? Hey, you can. But oh. yeah, <laughs> and this is the triangle piece, which we always have to we always have to delete that. Right. We, we always out. have to take mm -hmm. that off because there is a there is a sinew in here which we don't which mm -hmm. we which if you are going to use it as an entreco. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be tough. Yeah, it's going to okay. be tough. Yeah, yeah. But do we have to cut it off like that? No, we don't throw it away. No, 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 no. We don't throw it away. We just take Nothing the sinew throw. out. I just take the sinew out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just take the sinew out. Yeah, yeah. But first, I'm going to uh, I'm going to take some of the some of the of the fat off here. So what I always do is like this. I'm going to open it up a bit. Then we're going to start at this end, 
and, and then the thick I'm end. going to yeah at the thick end and then I'm going to work my way to the back okay. here we go That's just the feeling, eh? That's yeah. doing this a lot. Like, I'm sure this that, that your butcher uh, background, uh, the family background in butchery, uh, has served you well. In, <laughs> yeah, in, well, in, in the kitchen. It, right? it, it has. Mm. It has. It has been a help. Yes. Yes. Mm. So, here so we already are, as uh, very young, you had understanding of the uh, the different parts and the cuts and. Uh, yeah. 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 Why do you take it off? Uh, this is actually very very tough. This is very tough. Uh, you could leave it on. If you are going to use it as a roast, you know, if yeah. you want to, mm. if you want to, if you want to use it as a roast, then yeah. you then you make can it leave it on to make it crunchy. Mm. But if you're gonna if you're gonna use it as an entrecot, which we are gonna we, we we're gonna show you some how you cut the entrecots from this, then uh, you would take this off. Uh, now the the thing is, you can of course you can cook the loin as a whole. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you can yeah. cook it. You can roast it, yep. and then, of course, we would always nowadays do it on a low temperature. We might give it a bit of uh, uh, of coloring in the rationale, you know, on a high temperature, yep. and then lower the temperature to about 80 degrees. And once it is on 80 degrees, we're going to put the uh, uh, the the core temperature in it, the thermometer in it, and then we're going to kind of cook it till about till it's. Uh, Till it's a, a, a core temperature of 54. Yeah, yeah. And if you cook it sous vide, yeah. you take off also the fat cap yeah, off? Yeah, yeah. I also take the fat cap off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I also take the fat cap off. So this part of chain, I'm going to remove that as, as well. You, and then, and here you it is. You can make a broth out of you it. Can, oh yes, oh yes. All these, all, the, all, all these cuts would be used for your, uh, for your, for your stock. Yeah, for you your know? stock. And, uh, right. For your stock. Or your, yeah. yeah. I'm curious about the triangle, please. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like the uh, Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> it just disappears. <laughs> it disappears actually, but uh, no, it it doesn't disappear if you. <laughs> it doesn't disappear in your if mouth. You, if you, you want have to, to make it disappear. If you yes. eat it, yes. Otherwise, it's going to be very present. Yeah. 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 So what we usually do is that we are going to is that we are just putting the knife under here and then we're going to take this little screw. Oh, you can hear it. Mm. Yeah. You can hear the knife yeah. scratching. Yeah. It. Yeah. Uh, so it should be tough then. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so it's not nice to leave it there and serve your steak. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. If you okay. if you are in in a restaurant and you see a steak which has this part in it like that. Yeah. Then you then you think oh, okay yeah. I'm I'm eating the the bit which yeah, I shouldn't be rest, eating. Yeah, the, the rest. Yeah. But that's very important information because if you do not know that, yeah, and, and you, you serve cut it, it all the way up to entrecots, then you're going yeah. to fry it. So that's is your kutsir. Yeah. Okay. And, looks and, tough. and here is here is here is the oh, here is yes. the thing. It's all full of uh, yeah yeah yes. yeah. So that's that's not. So, what yeah. we so want. that's too okay. close to the stock. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we can right. make an entrecote double or an entrecote. Yeah, we can make an entrecote double, entrecote. That's a classic dish, isn't it? An entrecote double. Yeah. Entrecote double. Yeah. yeah. Nice. With the beurre parisien. There you go. Yeah, we're back <laughs> into Paris, the brasserie. Terraces are opening soon. Yes. Cote de Ron on the table. Yes. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Okay, Great. we always have to always have to put your hands over it to check if there's mm. any there might be a little bit of of uh, of, <coughs> of bone still on it. Right. From the from the, um, from the from, ribs. Yeah, uh, from the ribs. Good, you know. Yes. So always check that. Good. And then we have the the piece here. Yeah. And here are the steaks. Yes, nice. The entrecot. Nice. And I mean, it's, it's such a, a lovely t tender meat, and it uh, is so easy to uh, adapt it to, uh, 
to use different flavorings in the sauce. And, and again, also for, yes. for, because I was talking about Cote d'Aron, it makes me think wine. Yeah. And <laughs> the, the, the veal actually is very wine friendly and you can go oh, into yes. many directions yeah. depending on uh, what you're, uh, if you're, let's say if, if you're doing uh, uh, the, the very heavy uh, uh, stock sauce with some mushrooms, yeah. you want to be maybe moving into, uh, like I said, Cote d'Aron, something with some spiciness and not too heavy though. Uh, then if you have a more, more sort of a, a gentle flavors, it uh, goes really, really well with a Pinot Noir, so a yeah. gently yeah. fruity flavors. Yeah. 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 But yeah. also interesting, uh, like if, you're, if it's roasted and, and, and uh, with some butter and, and, and then you put it with a Chardonnay, a uh, French Chardonnay with uh, some oaky uh, character. Uh, Saint-Véran. Uh, Saint-Véran, for example, <laughs> you, you, you came prepared, my friend. <laughs> and, uh, and that will marry perfectly as well. So, uh, yeah, yeah that, that would be... This, this, this was, uh, I remember, from uh, one, of my, one of my trips to Paris, yeah, or yeah. actually one of my trips to, uh, to France when yeah. I, was, I was training. I was fortunate to, to come and do uh, a, uh, 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 a short uh, internship with uh, Bernard uh, Loiseau. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, of course, he would cook everything with the Burgundy wine, you know. Yes, so, yeah, and, uh, exactly. And, and yeah. the Burgundy and the veal, yes, that yeah. is... It is. It really marries well because it yeah, has the yeah. subtile flavors and uh, yes. yeah. Yeah. whether yeah. it's the red or the white, depending on what you're doing it with. Yes, yes. But yeah. both yeah. really yeah. will, will yeah. marry well. So. Yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay, Edgar, and then we've got the fillet. Yes, then we have the fillet. The fillet. And the fillet. And I'm the sure fillet. you can explain what we do with the head of the fillet because I'm always there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the head is, yeah, the head is, it is always there. always there. It is always there. <laughs> so what do we do with that? It is always there. Yeah. Well, I'm always wondering how do you cut it because yeah. it's really lovely piece of fillet. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. And stand yeah. there. Yeah. It's lean. It just stands yeah. out. It's, yeah. It's, yeah it's, it doesn't belong there, there, but it still stands no. there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because this sits in here actually, and and they've already taken out. Uh, this is already taken out the sinew which is in the middle here. Yeah. Uh, so it sits here, and that's the whole fillet. And this is already opened up, so you can see the bit over here. Yeah. Right. So what I, what I usually do is I, I'm just going to cut it off like that, you see? And then we have it left like this, and then I clean this. I'll move this over here. I clean this. And, and this is all like, you know, for your... For your uh, for your, uh, for your uh, yeah, for broth. the stock, yeah. 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 So there's still some little bit of sinew there. I'm going to take that off as well. And then I'm waiting for and the then, answer. Yeah. And then, yeah. What do we do? With what do we do that with strange it? Strange-looking head. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have any form or shape, head. but it has yeah. all the uh, the texture and the flavor that yes. is as yeah. the rest yes. of it. You know? Okay. Here, here is some 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 thin bits. This you could easily use for your. Uh, stroganoff. Yeah, the stroganoff. The classic ah. stroganoff. The classic stroganoff. With the, you know, yeah. the small bits, and also the same with the with this with this front bit. Yeah. Now, if you if you want to cut it into steaks, which you can, you can cut this into filet mignon, yeah, mm. into small steaks. Then I would use this also for the stroganoff. Yeah. Oh, I love it when they um, prepare the sauce at your table. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. 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 And then flambe it at the yes. table. Mm. And then here we go to the filet mignon, you see? Nice. Oh, right. Small steaks. Little steaks. Actually quite an easy uh, mm. way to cut. Yeah, and you have, you have beautiful yes, small yeah, little steaks. Soft oh, wow. and tender. Yes. So now mm. Melts in the mouth. Melts so. in the mouth. I see uh, salt and bocca. Yes, you can do mm. salt and bocca mm. with that. Mm. Yes. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Yeah. 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 Now, for the, for, the, for the tail bit also, I would say, here we go for the stroganoff, yeah. you know, up until about when we come to about here. And then I would say you could have, you could actually, if you want to make a Wellington, you mm. can make a Which filet, nice, yeah. a filet Wellington, yeah. you know, yes. you could actually in cook this quickly. And then uh, have, your, have your puff pastry yeah. and you have your, your, your confit of, of veal liver. With your with your with your porcini mushrooms, yeah, absolutely, and some uh, and mm. some shallots with it, yeah, 
and then and then you bind that all together, and then you wrap it in the in the puff pastry. Yeah, yeah. You can make wow, a beautiful. beautiful um, you can bake a, a beautiful Wellington. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And I love it how it marries with, uh, like you said, you said, uh, uh, with mushroom, different kind of mushroom, wild different mushrooms, kind of any mushroom, yeah, yeah, vegan yeah, mushroom yeah, and the yeah, creamy sauce, yeah, and, and yeah, all yeah, really yeah, marries well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So actually, the sky is the limit with uh, mm -hmm. the sky field. is the limit with fields. Mm -hmm. Great, the sky yeah. is the limit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank yeah. you so much for explaining yeah, this to you. us. Um, it was really nice to have uh, some technical cuts here yeah. on our counter. It wasn't possible yeah. to take all the whole piece, no, but no. Uh, we, we got a good hope. overview. We have a yeah. very good overview over yeah. right. the possibilities. Yeah. You yeah. can have the overview in our field cuts app. Hi, the yes, and, the, and, the app, and, yeah, and you the, can uh, turn it yeah, around yeah, and have yeah, a look yeah. and know where what is located in the carcass to yeah, know yeah. Uh, the way you can uh, prepare it. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for preparing the hanging tender. One it of was my favorite pieces. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank you, thank you so no? much. <laughs> and thank you, Edgar, for your explanation. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.